What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's Drip God Daryl, and I'm back at you guys with another banger. So I'm three for three when it comes to the daily videos. I'm gonna try to keep it going. I'm gonna try to keep it going. But in today's video, I definitely just wanted to speak my mind on this crazy Amari Stoudemire situation. So if you didn't know, Amari Stoudemire, he is actually in jail from assaulting his daughter. Now, this is a crazy situation. I have a video pulled up and we're gonna just listen to the video and also just read into the actual incident and then I'll just get my thoughts after. All right, so we got the video pulled up right here, as you guys can see. And this video is from CBS Miami. And let's just take a look at it. Let's listen to it. It's only 46 seconds long. And let's just see what happened, man. Let's see what happened. A former Heat player, Amari Stoudemire, is responding to allegations that he assaulted one of his teenage daughters. In a tweet, he says, in part, as the investigation unfolds, the facts will show the allegations to be groundless as my daughter's medical condition is not the result of being assaulted by a father who is nearly seven feet tall and weighs 250 pounds. I could never see myself assaulting any person, especially my children. Sotomayor was arrested late Saturday night for allegedly punching one of his daughters. Investigators say it all started when the victim's grandmother called for her and Sotomayor did not like the way she responded. He and his daughter began arguing over whether she had an attitude before Sotomayor reportedly punched her and then slapped her. He was charged with battery and later bonded out of jail. All right, so that was the video right there. And man, just listening to the video, this whole event sounds crazy, but I'm not going to judge Amari Stoudemire just yet until I actually read the article so that I can actually get some more information to actually base my opinion on. But let's switch over to the article so we can actually get more information and get and be more thorough when it comes to just judging Amari Stoudemire and his actions in general. All right, so as you guys can see, we do have an article pulled up. It's by NBA.com officially, and the title is Former NBA All-Star Amari Stoudemire Charged for Punching Daughter. Now, let's read into this. Let's try to get some more information on it. It says, Former Phoenix Suns and New York Knicks star Amari Stoudemire is facing a misdemeanor battery charge after he allegedly hit one of his teenage daughters in the face. Miami-Dade County Court records show that Stoudemire 40 was arrested early Sunday and later released on $1,500 bond with a no-contact order issued. The Miami police officials did not immediately respond to a phone message from the Associated Press. The Miami Herald, citing a police report, said Stoudemire struck one of his two teenage daughters during an argument at his Miami home Saturday night. The newspaper says he has two daughters, age 17 and 14, but the report doesn't specify which one he allegedly struck. According to the paper, the 6 foot 10, 255 pound Stoudemire confronted the girl and accused her of being disrespectful to his mother during a phone call. When she denied it, he told her, you're talking back again and punched her in the jaw, leaving her bleeding, the report says. So, I feel like that's enough. I don't feel like we really need to, you know, read more into this. If y'all do want to read more into it, it is on NBA.com. It is on the NBA out. But, let me just full screen this because, man, I definitely got something to say when it comes to this situation right here. All right, so, man, just to... Pretty much get my thoughts on this situation. Amari Stoudemire is wrong as fuck, bro. He is wrong as fuck. And where do I even start? This man is six foot ten, two hundred and fifty pounds. Solid muscle out here punching his seventeen or fourteen year old daughter. Now, we as men, we already know that even if that woman isn't our family member, it's just a random woman, regardless of what she do, that we can't hit them. That's just how society is. Let's keep it real. 
And for him to be as big of a man as he is, to close-handedly punch his daughter. So this isn't this isn't a, a, a slap. This isn't a slap or anything like that. This is a sure you can. This is a falcon punch, my nigga. Like, bro, for him to do that to his daughter, he out of line. I'm sorry. He's out of line, and I don't respect it. And if he did do it, I hope he do get a little time because, come on, bro. Regardless of what your daughter says, regardless of if she disrespected her grandmother and his mom, bro, that doesn't give you the right to punch her, bro. Punch. Close hand. Punch. No, no, no. And I know a lot of people, they might side with Amari Sotomayor. They might say a parent has the right to discipline their child. And I I understand that. I agree with it. But at the same time, don't, no, don't close hand punch. You punching her like she's a nigga. Like, bro, no, 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 no. And to keep it real, like like I said, I know a lot of people might be like, a parent has the right to discipline their child. And yes, I do agree with that. I'm I'm a black I'm a black dude, man. I grew up getting whoopings. I I grew up getting my ass whooped by my parents when I was being bad and shit like that. Only black uh parents can really relate or black individuals in general can really relate. Let's keep it real. But at the same time, that's a little girl, bro. She's 17 or 14, depending on which daughter it is. That's a girl. I ain't never seen my sister, because I got a sister. I ain't never seen her get punched. And I refuse to ever let her get punched, regardless of who it is. Simple as that. It could be my mom. It could be my dad. I'm not letting my dad sister get punched she's a girl regardless it's different ways to handle situations like that and i feel like he definitely could have went about that a different way amari stoudemire you see your daughter disrespect her granny you don't gotta slap her or do anything like that crazily you don't gotta do all that all you gotta do is just Show her better than you could tell her. That's what my parents used to always say. I'll show you better than I could tell you. And it ain't about violence. It's about taking away the luxuries that your kid has. In 2022, you can't be whooping your kid. You got to take away their luxuries. That's the new way of disciplining your child. You are rich. You rich as fuck. I'm sure because they're your kids... They have plenty of luxuries that regular kids don't have. Take those away. Show them better than you could tell them without being violent. And that's something that I advise all parents to do. I'm not a parent. I don't have any kids. But just in 2022, at this in this day and age, man, you got to just show your kids better than you could tell them. In a non-violent way. And by that, that means take away their, lu- their luxuries. If your little son or daughter like playing video games, take that video game ar- away. If your son always on his phone or your daughter always on her phone, take that phone away. You got to do things like that to s- discipline them. If your kid always getting the new Jordans and the new shoes, take all them shoes away. How they ass coming in there with some fucking shacks, man? For real. How them coming in there with some Percy Millers, with some fucking Starberries? I mean, yeah, some Starberries, like, for real, bro. That's how you That's how you discipline your kid, man. That ass whooping only lasts for five seconds. That's as long as that's gonna last, man. When you discipline your kids, when it comes to, like, taking shit away... They remember that. They go remember having to come to school wearing them shacks, wearing them fucking sandals, you know, the African sandals and shit. They go remember that. They go remember coming to school, you know, with nappy hair and shit, not having their hair did if it's a young girl. And if it's a boy, not having his hair cut. Looking rough as shit. They go remember stuff like that. That ass whooping only go last 
about five minutes. Then they go get over and then go play on that game. Go text they homeboy or homegirl and talk about you behind your back and things of that nature. But if you actually, you know, discipline them in ways that take away those little luxuries that they have, that'll, that'll make them remember it forever. But, hey, if you enjoyed this video, like the fucking video, comment on the fucking video, subscribe to the fucking channel. Man, y'all already know, man. Sometimes I just be having to spit that real shit when it comes to some of these NBA topics. And I hope y'all enjoy when I really be spitting that real stuff that we all really need to hear. Yes, we love the NBA, but hey, sometimes some of these NBA players be wilding like Amari Stoudemire. And they got to get handled. They got to get some straightening. So, Hey, once again, like the fucking video, comment on the fucking video, turn on notifications, man, and I'm out. Peace. We three for three.